In this video, I'm going to talk you through the pieces that I have bought and brought into my fall capsule wardrobe. Hello and welcome to Beauty by Des, where I share tips, tricks and tutorials on beauty, fashion and lifestyle for the woman touching 70. So without further ado, let's get cracking with what I added to my capsule wardrobe for fall 2023. Now just to mention that all the items that I talk about in this video will be listed and linked below in the description box available on your PC, your tablet or your phone and all you need to do is just click more and all will be revealed. And also to mention that some of those links are affiliate which means that if you choose to purchase any of the items through one of those links I will receive a small commission at no extra cost to you, but it does help my little channel if you choose to purchase the item that way. And I thank you very much in advance should you choose to do so. Now this video is part of my series called What to Wear at 70. And in my two previous videos in the series, I sorted through my full winter wardrobe using my capsule wardrobe fact sheet. And the link to that is down below in the description box. And I also hunted out some items that I thought would suit us nearly 70 year olds. Now, some of those items I did actually order, but I only kept one because the others just weren't right for me for one reason or another. And if you're interested in why I didn't choose those items, then let me know down below in the comments and I'll do a dedicated video on that. Now, before we get into the pieces that I bought, I just wanted to say a few words about style and my style in particular. Now, apart from having my colours done, which I talked about in previous videos, and I'll link those down below for you, where I found out that I was a winter deep, that's really helped me to choose the items and the pieces that I'm going to talk to you about in a moment. But there's another really interesting method or methodology to think about when you're thinking about the kind of clothes you want to bring into your wardrobe as well as wearing the ones you've already got and that is the three word method and that was developed by Alison Bornstein and I'll link her channel down below for you in the video in particular. So the three words are practical and realistic, aspirational and emotional. And that's particularly interesting because it's a word that Anna from The Colour Code used when she talks about our responses to colour. But anyway, what Alison says, for the practical or realistic, look at the clothes that you wear most often. For the aspirational, look at the clothes that you aspire to wear, or at least a style on a woman that you know, or a woman that you see online that you aspire to. And the third one is emotional. And that is about how you want your clothes to make you feel. So this three word concept works really well with the colour code words, which Anna gave me, which are powerful, heartfelt, focal, dramatic and authentic. So if we marry those two together, I think my style can best be expressed as comfortable, edgy, and strong. And thinking about my colours, I've definitely decided that my power colour is black and my heartfelt colour is pink, but I haven't really got any further with the other three yet, but they're developing. They're a work in progress. Now in my full capsule wardrobe planning video, I identified the following items that I would like to bring into my wardrobe and they were a pair of black barrel leg or wide leg trousers, something purple or green, a cardigan and also a wedding dress. But that's for another video. I'm not going to go into the wedding dress today because that needs a completely separate video with the accessories to go with the wedding dress. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, do because then you'll get to see the video on how I chose my wedding guest dress. So did I stick to the list? Well, let's find out. So the first piece I brought into my wardrobe was, yes, you've guessed it, a pair of black wide leg trousers from Vince. Now, this is a brand that I wasn't aware of. It's an American brand that one of my fantastic viewers recommended. So I thought I'd look into the feasibility of buying them here because buying American brands over here, if they don't have concessions or they're not sold online, from UK retailers can be quite a challenge but luckily there were a pair of Vince black wide leg trousers on the Outnet and the Outnet is a sister website to net a porter if you haven't come across it and they do have some really good bargains. Now these were not super cheap but they were around about £100 from memory. All the details will be down below for you as I said. And I saw them online. I thought, oh, I wonder, I wonder. Anyway, I ordered them and I am really, really happy with them because they're very versatile. They're in a fantastic 
jersey material which is really light to wear, very comfortable and I think they look fantastic with my Vivaya boots. They also look really good with my Lily Silk pink shirt and you can dress them up or dress them down but I do think they elevate an outfit. I know we all use that word. We don't use that in normal speech do we? It's so overused but we all understand it. It's a shorthand really isn't it? Elevate. The word to elevate is a shorthand for how to make your outfits look a little bit smarter, a little bit more thoughtful, if you like, put together. It's another phrase that we don't use in normal <laughs> speech, but we all know what we mean by that. It's a shorthand for saying, we want to look a little bit different. We don't want to just, we want to look a bit more like we care about what we're wearing rather than just going out in leggings and a hoodie. When we want to look a little bit smarter, I think these Vince stretch jersey wide leg trousers are fantastic and of course they're elasticated this is the other thing an elasticated waist is so forgiving and so comfortable so i'm really delighted with these vince trousers and thank you so much to my lovely subscriber who i won't name but you know who you are and thank you so much for suggesting vince as a brand now my second piece is another viewer suggested brand and it's from the same viewer actually and it's eileen fisher and it is in fact another pair of black jersey trousers with an elasticated waist however however these are not wide leg these are straighter legs so a little bit slouchy but more narrow of leg and they have pockets which the Vince trousers don't have now again you can style these with anything you can wear them with a shirt you can wear them with a jumper they will look great and again feel very comfortable they probably wouldn't be quite as dressy uppy as it was the Vince could be but they're really comfortable. And if you don't want to wear jeans or you don't want to wear leggings, you want something a bit more, yes, I'm gonna use that word again, elevated, then I think these trousers are fantastic. Now, Eileen Fisher is not a cheap brand. It's a super expensive brand and these were super expensive, but I'm absolutely delighted with these and I know I will get a huge amount of wear out of them. Now, the third piece I brought into my full capsule wardrobe is this beautiful cashmere jumper from Arquette. Now Arquette is a brand that is available in certain countries around the world but not all of them and I don't think it's available in the US for example. However it is a sister brand to COS which is available all over or at least available in the States as well as the UK and the rest of Europe. So what I've done is for this particular sweater I've linked a similar one down below for you for those of you who are outside the UK and Europe. Now the quality of the cashmere is beautiful and it's red. I've brought in some color again because this was one of the colors in my new color palette. So I'm so delighted to have found this jumper because I think it's absolutely beautiful and cashmere is the most wonderful fabric. I know it's expensive, but if you look after it, it really does last. I mean, this sweater that I nearly got rid of because of my colors, I just wasn't sure it suited me. But now that I've had it confirmed it is my color, I'm actually starting to wear it again. And this has lasted really well. I've had this two years now and I have a cashmere comb that I use and I wash it carefully with a, a nice liquid wash in the washing machine and it's lasted beautifully and I do think this red is an absolutely luscious colour to wear in the autumn winter season. I really do so I'm absolutely thrilled with it and I think it looks great with the wider leg trousers or the Eileen Fishers. Also looks good with leggings. You're going to wear it either to go to the office or to go out for coffee or to go out in the evening but it's not really a dressy dressy jumper. It's there to make you feel comfortable and keep you warm as well as to make you feel very luxurious because obviously cashmere is a very luxurious fabric. Now the next piece I brought into my wardrobe was this Free People cotton ivory sweater. Now this is one that I've been coveting ever since I saw it when Nordstrom had their anniversary sale and I did a little video about what I would buy if I was buying from Nordstrom. Of course I'm based in the UK so the shipping charges are ridiculous and I'll come to that in a moment but I spotted this sweater and I thought oh I wonder if I can get that in the UK because free people do have a presence here in the UK they have stores they have an online presence but I couldn't get it unfortunately it wasn't available here and I was really sad about that so when I was thinking about what to bring into my autumn capsule wardrobe I wondered should I actually bite the bullet and buy from Nordstrom and what will the shipping cost be well I have to tell you <laughs> They are ridiculously expensive. I mean, I appreciate, I'm not blaming Nordstrom. It's just the way it is, what can you do? 
but in the end I decided to bite the bullet because it's the kind of sweater that I really love. It's got that texture as well as being ivory which is in my colour palette. It's got that fantastic kind of cable style texture and it's got that long slouchy sort of beatnicky kind of look which I knew I could wear with leggings. So I did in the end buy it and I really do love it. I think it looks fantastic. Now, as I say, it was expensive and of course with the shipping costs, it was even more expensive. So I'm sorry to say that UK viewers, if you want it, you are going to have to pay ridiculous shipping costs. So probably not gonna be something that you want to get, but if you are based in the States, it is worth checking it out. Now there is one small caveat, it molts a bit and I don't know whether washing it would make a difference so we'll have to see but I absolutely love it and I do think it's something you can dress up a bit. I mean I'm not saying you necessarily want to wear it to go out for dinner but I do think it's smart enough to wear in the office and to go for coffee with friends or to go out to the pub in the evening. It's beautiful and also because it's cotton, it's really great for this sort of transitional period that it's not wool and when it gets cold, you could wear a layer underneath. So I'm really, really delighted with it and hope to get a lot of wear out of it. Now, just a couple of other pieces which I ordered, but I'm going to have to send back because they're slightly too big for me. A couple of really fantastic t-shirts from COS. I'll put some pictures up here for you. And one is black and one is blue. Now they are quite pricey for t-shirts, but they're much heavier weight. And I'm gonna send them back today and I'm going to order the next size down because they're just a little bit too big and a little bit too roomy. So one of them, the shoulders are just sort of hanging down here, which really doesn't suit me because I'm quite narrow shoulder. So I need to send them back and get some different sizes, but I am really looking forward to wearing those because they'll be great under cardigans. Now a cardigan was something I mentioned I did want and actually I did order a cardigan from Uniqlo, but sadly I had to send it back because the color just wasn't as described. One of the drawbacks of ordering online is the color that's represented online isn't necessarily the colour that you, you actually see when you get it home but unfortunately it was just too yellow and also actually the sleeves were a little bit on the long side I don't know whether if I'd got a smaller size the sleeves would have been a better length now I spotted this cardigan on Natalie Martin's channel and I've talked about her a lot I absolutely love her and there's someone whose style I try to emulate she's got that edginess to her style which I really like even though there are some things I definitely wouldn't wear anyway she showcased all the recent Uniqlo collaboration with a designer whose name I've forgotten now, it's Claire something or other. Um, but anyway, the details will be down below. And some of the pieces were really lovely and this cardigan was one of them, but unfortunately it just didn't suit me. And the other colors they've got are not appropriate for me either. So unfortunately I'm gonna pass on that. And to be honest, I'm not sure I really need another cardigan. I do actually have the brown one, which you've seen today. I have a lovely black one, which I've showcased before, which I bought from Vinted. So I think I'm probably okay for cardies at the moment. So there you have it. That's what I brought into my fall fashion wardrobe for 2023. So let me know in the comments, what do you think of the pieces that I've chosen? Are any of them of interest to you? Are you missing any pieces that you want to try and find? Let me know, I'd really love to hear from you. And I really hope that this video has been helpful to you. And if it has, I'd be so grateful if you'd give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a video. And at the moment, my schedule is Sunday mornings at eight o'clock UK time. Oh, and talking of subscriptions, I have a monthly newsletter. And in that, I don't just talk about beauty and fashion, but I also talk about music, podcasts, books, theatre, film, and other bits and bobs that make us happy. And if you've enjoyed this video, I'm going to pop up another couple of videos up here that you might enjoy watching on the same kind of subjects. And thanks again so much for watching. It means the absolute world to me, it really does. And I hope you're all doing really well. And I look forward to seeing you on my next video. Bye.